I'm Nick Christovitz. I'm a graphic designer and a small business owner. There's four of us, it's myself, a um, girl by the name of Angie Battis, Barry Whedon, Chad Goddard, uh, just like four friends. Chad and Barry kind of take the super coffee kind of role. Angie and I are more on the marketing, visuals, design side. Um, and yeah, that kind of all just works pretty seamlessly. I'm Angie Battis Durrant. I also own another restaurant in Emerentia called The Good Luck Club and I'm a freelance art director and designer. Uh, we were just chatting about starting a cool side business, like another one. And initially we were going to do a gin product, but uh, it's quite difficult doing an alcoholic beverage in, the, in this country and stuff. So we swapped from gin over to coffee. We decided to call in Barry because like, he's really good at starting stuff up and we knew Chad was the biggest coffee nerd on, on the planet and like we really respected like his knowledge and stuff so we pulled him in as well. Um, you can't uh, second guess him or question him on anything to do with coffee. Uh, Nick and myself are designers and we came up with the concept for the store and the brand logo. And there was the four of us just like from there we nine months later we opened a shop. We went back and forth on the name for like months. I think we literally went through 220 names. Then we'd all go our separate ways and be like, cool, you come with five names tomorrow, we'll figure it out. And we did that for ages, like weeks on end. <laughs> I think funny enough, we landed on the name Crook's Coffee. I don't know why, like looking back, it seems ridiculous. And then one day we went to lunch and Angie was just like, guys, why don't we call it Father Coffee? And they were amped about it and off we went. When I first pitched it to them, you know, my whole rationale beforehand was like an important person within a family, a person who plays like the head role. An authority in coffee, but without the pretentiousness, like, a, like an educational figure, which father is in, in general. Visually, it's like rad, like when I did the logo, like it actually, it's like a beautiful shape. The design was all kind of Scandinavian inspired with the white ash wood, the white floors. The kind of theory behind it is that like everything is considered and that, that was born out of Chad's concept of coffee. Like everything's considered, he's very specific about stuff. So we say, cool, let's try to turn that into a space. Like the tables are too small to have two laptops on. They're too uncomfortable to sit on for more than three or four hours. We, we didn't want it to be another coffee shop where you can sit at and work all day. You're more than welcome to, but that was all considered. We wanted to be like a takeaway, kind of hang around for a bit, then get on your way, kind of shop. Not, not that it's not friendly or anything, but that's kind of what we wanted to go for. Um, there's nothing really like it in Johannesburg, and that's what we liked about the concept when we first pitched it to the other guys. The way it's presented, like, we use completely classic sizes with all the glasses but uh, we had custom cups designed at the right size like by a ceramicist and everything's just like once again like super well thought out beautiful glasses like brilliantly poured coffee and that's actually all you need like the coffee's good enough we don't need to do latte art on top of it and pretend it's something that it's not it's just really really good coffee it's like we all kind of just want to feel our own vibe in the shop and people really like it. Well they respond to how the place looks first of all and the second thing that they're amped about are the boys behind the counter. Like the most asked question is like are the three of them brothers? The one thing that we could never have predicted that I really, really enjoy about this place, being in Bramfontein, it's like this kind of little mecca that all these middle class people from the suburbs are flocking to now because they think Joburg's all of a sudden fantastic and Joburg's always been fantastic. And we're just here and we, we don't believe we've made a massive difference to the city, but what, what we do really think we've excelled in is getting everyone in here. Um, when you open a place this beautiful, it's really easy for people to share it, like everyone wants to Instagram here under the sign and stuff and the marketing did itself like that, which was really cool. You have like the plumber from next door hanging out next to a high court judge, next to a graphic designer, like it's just such a good mix. Like we, we nailed it and we're super happy about that because that's what Joburg is. It's not like a city of like super trendy and super cool, it's a city for everyone. We're super proud of that. I think that's the best part after the coffee. <laughs>